Bonjour, bonsoir, depending on where you are right now. I'm Mariah Milano. This is dinnerwithmariah.com. Welcome to my kitchen. Tonight we are getting really, really French. I mean, really French. Tonight we are making Coke de Bouffe, which is French for big fucking steak. Look at this. This is no joke. This is a big fucking steak, right? It's beautiful. When I was in Paris, I went to this amazing restaurant called Chez Robert et Louise. It's in the Marais district. It's been there forever and it's incredible. Check out this clip from the last time I was there. Didn't that look so amazing? It really was. I go there at least twice every time I'm there. This is a really simple dish. It's nothing more than a big, huge steak cooked in a cast iron skillet and basted with butter. So let's get started. I've got my cast iron skillet ready to go with oil and it's really, really, really hot. So we're going to season our steak with kosher salt and pepper. It's a ribeye, so you want to cut with a lot, a lot of fat on it. Did you notice all the fat in the clip from the restaurant I showed you? Now we're going to season it with pepper. How good does that look? Now we're going to scoop up our steak and put it in our skillet. Told you it was hot. So the way you baste it is you constantly spoon the oil on top of the steak. That looks so beautiful, guys. Tell me that doesn't look amazing. That's how you baste this steak. So now we're going to start adding some butter. How beautiful does that look? Oh my God, look at that, guys. That looks fucking amazing. Now we gotta keep basting. Now we're gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. Wow, look how gorgeous that is. That's a beautiful piece of meat right there. So now we're gonna start basting this side. Coke de Boeuf is usually, generally, um, a steak for two. The one you saw in the clip that I showed you that one was for two. So now I've added the rest of my butter. I'm not going to sit here and make you watch this for the next 20 minutes. I know it's kind of boring, but you want to make sure that your steak is about 120 degrees. So when you take it out, it's going to continue to cook for a little bit. So you don't want it too done. That's why you want it rare to medium rare. Still basting. So we're gonna take this out and put it on the cutting board so the juices could redistribute. Wow, that looks, whew, that's a beautiful thing. Now in my skillet with all the juices from my beautiful steak and everything, I'm gonna pour some portobello mushrooms in it. And let them cook. Oh yes, it's gonna go really good with my steak. At 
Shea, Robert, and Louise. They serve it with potatoes cooked in chicken fat. Mmm, how good does that sound? Not mushrooms and butter, but I'm trying to be healthy and do the all protein thing. This is going to be really good though, guys. And more basting, believe it or not. More basting. So if I baste this much, do you think I'll go blind? I'm going to cut into the steak because I want you to see how beautiful it is inside. Oh, wow. Look how beautiful that is. Medium rare, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, so I've removed all the meat from the bone. Look how amazing this looks. And I'm going to take my bite. Fuck me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys, honest to god, this is so... It's amazing. The best steak I ever had. I'm not just saying that. It's the best steak I ever had. It's as good as Robert A. Louise. Mm. So now let me try a mushroom. Oh fuck. Mmm. So fucking good. Mm. This is unbelievable, guys. If you can make this, please do. Because you won't even believe how good it is. I swear to God. Better than Roots Chris. Better than all that. The bomb. Look how soft this meat is and how perfect it's cooked. Look at that. It's like perfect. Talk about food porn. This is real food porn right here. Love it. All right, guys. I'll see you tomorrow night. This is Mariah Milano with DinnerWithMariah.com. Mmm.